Good afternoon, Bob Dalton coming to you from Allendale's Trading Floor here in McHenry, Illinois. It is Friday, October 1st, first day of the month, first day of the fourth quarter, 2010. And uh, what did we see happen here today in the grains? Well, when it was all said and done, we were much lower, much lower. And this is going to be attributed uh, primarily to uh, the fact that yesterday there was plenty of speculation about what the 300 million additional bushels of corn uh, that were reported by the USDA to be in in, uh, in bins right now, uh, where it came from. Was that old stock, or was it some new stock sprinkled in there? New crop corn uh, getting mixed in with the old crop. Um, throughout the day, speculation. Many were saying, well, there's new crop in there, so these numbers are going to be skewed later on. Uh, we're not going to have as much new crop as we thought because we're already counting it. Uh, by the time the day was over and trading was over on the day, the USDA did confirm that there was not an accounting of new crop corn in, these, uh, in this report that came out yesterday. Uh, so that came out late in the session. People were positioning their trades to be long ahead of yet another Friday of expected fund selling by the general masses, or excuse me, fund buying of, by the general masses and um, uh, getting long ahead of the close yesterday, which uh, turned out to be the wrong direction to be uh, uh, facing in this market here. When it was all said and done today, corn finished and settled limit down, 465 and 3 quarters December corn. Soybeans down significantly as well, down 49 and 3 quarters, taking out support, uh, doing some damage to the to the charts. Settlement price was 1057 November soybeans. We had wheat end up 19 lower as well today. Uh, that put them at uh, 655 December Chicago. So what's going to happen next? Well, if the funds do come in with all the new money they supposedly have at the beginning of the month slash quarter and uh, do want to support their longs, we may see some, some uh, higher to choppy trade early on next week. Uh, I'm not anticipating that we're going to see significant buying come in. However, I could be dead wrong. Uh, but uh, we did do a bunch of damage to the charts today uh, to the downside. If you're a bull, you're not happy with the type of settlement we got today. And we will have expanded limits in the corn on Monday, Sunday night into Monday's trade, 45 cents. Uh, will be the limit move for corn, so keep an eye on that as well. Uh, dollar today down 60 points again, uh, 78.34 and a half uh, is where the dollar is trading right now. Crude oil up a dollar 60 at 81.56, trading up above 81 dollars again in the crude. So outside markets would be supportive of these grains if anyone was paying attention to them. Uh, that dollar apparently not showing uh, enough of a value to foreign customers to uh, convince them that the high prices that they've seen recently in our grains are overcomable by the uh, lack of value in our currency. Uh, so we will probably see uh, a continued pullback in the grain price to entice people uh, to come on over, and, or I should say other countries, to come on over and uh, buy our goods, specifically agricultural commodities, grain, and livestock. Over to the cattle market today, we got live cattle down a dollar twenty-five, ninety-eight thirty-five is where they settled out. Feeders, I thought they might enjoy this corn price a little bit more than they uh, were able to pick up today. Only up twenty-five today, uh, one eleven eighty is where they finished up, and the uh, hogs down a dollar forty today, seventy-six thirty-seven and a half. So fat cattle and hogs getting pulled back. Uh, here on Friday, the end of the week, uh, with the feeders not exactly picking up the type of move that I would anticipate with corn being limited down on the day. Um, so going forward, what should we be looking at? Well, there's a lot of clients out there who sold corn uh, who called in today looking for re-ownership strategies. We have strategies to share with you if you'd like to get re-ownership on, on some of the uh, 2010 corn and uh, soybeans that you have sold, uh, as well as 2011. You know, some are, are going to wait for a, a pullback here and try to reown it, see if we can push some new highs. Probably not a very bad idea to get some of that done. Um, over to the wheat, how long is wheat going to be able to hold the price points that it has? Anyone's guess right now, funds, uh, if they do begin liquidating next week, we could see corn and wheat pull back pretty good. Uh, so if you don't have your wheat priced out for, for next year, at least begin hedging on it. Uh, maybe now is the time. If the clock is ticking for us, uh, we should probably get some of that done. Basically, any any of your marketing needs that you have in agricultural uh, commodity markets, feel free to give us a call. We'll be able to take care of you one way or the other. Phone number here is 800-262-7538, or you can visit us on the web at www.allendale-inc.com. This is Bob Dalton. Have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you next week.